So you pull out the six and you go into the fitting room, you're trying to get it on, you're like, oh, oh, oh. I mean, these are all like do's and don'ts, but at the end of the day, don't give a, f you know, you do what you want, but don't let anyone place their taste onto yours. I said that because somebody, one of you lot, wrote a comment and it was either on my YouTube channel, Instagram, a DM, and she said to me that she has her own style and her friend, a close friend of hers, was always trying to tell her how to dress and what she thought she thought looked best on her. She ended up breaking free and finding her own style. Just get what speaks to you, wear what speaks to you. Everyone has their own sense of style. We are not cookie cutters. I used to not like when I would get questions, usually from publications that would say, describe your style or describe your style in three words. And I, it's almost like, you know, when you're filling an application form and it tells you to fill in this, which one is you? Are you white? Are you black? Are you other? Are you, what, what the fuck is other? I cannot stand labels. I'm probably merging into point two here. The first one was, don't let anyone place their taste on yours. So I'll keep that as a separate one. So that was number one. Because only you know what your true style is. I think at the end of the day, there is a style that you wear. You may not even be aware of it yet. Because people always say like, oh, how do you find your own style? How do you find your own style? You, you already know what it is, believe it or not. You just don't think you do. Um, there's clothes that you reach for day in and day out. Whatever is the most comfortable to you is actually the basis of what your style is. That's that's what I think. That's, that's your building blocks of what your own style is. So get what speaks to you. Don't let anyone tell you don't wear that because of your size. That's it. <laughs> I had to read this. I had to write this down because I just knew I was going to like forget articulating it correctly. Yeah, don't let anyone tell you what to wear based on your size. Wear what flatters you. But don't let people say or, or magazines tell you, oh, this is what you should wear because you're at this size. It's the same with the age thing. Don't wear this because you are this age. You know, I hate labels, which goes back to what I just said earlier about like that checkbox when you're filling in a form and they have that ethnicity or that section where they want you to define who you are. I mean, what the, f sorry, but it's true. It's just like, you, you go by what suits you, whatever color you are, whatever height you are, whatever size you are, if it flatters you, wear it, wear it, wear it, wear it. Now, a spin-off of that is uh, the sizes on garments. I know I've said this before in another video. Please, with this is for the new subscribers, not the OG subscribers, ignore the sizes of clothes. You shouldn't be looking at them anyway. At least I don't think you should. Yes, okay, when you're online and you want to know what to buy, yes, you have to look at the size. But I'm talking about that thing that when you go into the shop and you look at you look at something, right? You're going like that, looking at something, and you just think, oh my gosh, I love that. That's such a cool thing. I want to wear that. But um, what size am I again? Oh, I'm a six, right? So you pull out the six, and you go into the fitting room, you're trying to get it on, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. But I'm a six, I'm a six, or I'm an eight, or, or I'm a 10. If the size 10 fits you, and it looks amazing on you, wear it, because when it skims off of you anyway, that's when it usually, generally speaking, is going to look at its best. Sod the size, it, sod the fact that it's a size 10. It doesn't matter. Brands nowadays, they're so like up and down. No one is consistent, right? When you compare brands next to each other, because that's how we shop, right? We don't wear one uh, label head to toe. We wear a mixture of different things, right? From different shops. And each shop, we are a different size, aren't we? We're not the same in every single shop. So, based on that, that we all know full well, stop trying to kid yourself and stick to a size that's in your head that you're supposed to be buying, you're supposed to be wearing, because that's the size that you're supposed to be. If a size 12 fits you, wear it. I have things which are size 12, 
this is actually a size 12 I think but I'm more of like a size 6 sometimes I'm a size 8 your body I'm a size 4 sometimes up here because I tend to be smaller up here and because I got a bit of a butt on me I'm bigger on my lower half here so I would go with a size up so you know you split yourself in half when you're different sizes keep that in mind when you're when you're buying things when you're in the shop you're not necessarily one size and that's something that I just want you to just just realize from this video these are like guidelines for you to constantly remember constantly remind yourself and to just educate yourself when you're shopping wear the size that fits you sod anything else jeans especially I'm sure that this will ring a bell don't buy before checking or shopping what you already have this is so true um, I'm truly guilty of this one um, there's so many times when I've bought a couple of things and I go through like a purge or something and I realize I've got something so similar to it or I already have something that's just like it and I think god I already have something like this already same with shoes if you have a lot of shoes have a look at what you've already got if you're looking to buy that I don't know that open toe that backless loafer or that open toe mule with a block heel check to see what you've already got you may have something similar to it you may have something that you can dye maybe you stopped wearing it because it was a color that you just don't reach for anymore consider dyeing it at the cobblers and just wear it just a little thought for you remember that dress I was obsessed with the one with the shoulder ties and then I found something similar look this one I didn't know I had it this one a white dress has some ties to it to have the same sort of effect I am still going to go out and go to a sewing shop and get like some longer thicker ribbons really long ones so I can get some nice floppy ties on either side so I think that is what's going to set this dress off I didn't have to buy anything I just have fallen in love again with a dress that I already have and I'm just going to tweak it with the ribbons and just do create my own version of that reformation dress because why not you know I love shopping I love shopping I'm sure you love shopping too you lot love to look at shopping videos just as much as I do you know but please let's just fall in love with the shit we already have I'm sorry I don't know how else to put it default. yes have one default outfit when you don't know what to wear so true this is when you're going out the door you want to put something on you look you know when you open your wardrobe doors and you go I've got nothing to wear and you've got like a thousand items staring right at you have that default item that default outfit rather that you can just fling on you know you look pretty good in it and you can just put that on and you're out the door in literally two minutes you've done your makeup you've done your hair last thing you've got to do is just figure out what the hell you want to put on reach for that default it's that same thing that you can reach for time and time again people who I think have a default outfit Caroline de Marguerite I think that's how you pronounce your name girl um, who else do I think has a default outfit believe it or not I think Kate Moss back in the day I think she had default outfits that she could just fling on time and time again people who have default outfits are people who have signature styles to them I think it's also a different term for it when you say signature style for it. it's almost like another way of saying the default outfit it's those things as recognizable um, looks that you tend to be recognized for wearing time and time again and I'll try and name a few on the screen or try and put a couple of more people on the screen who I think have default outfits they know that they it works on them they know that shape works on them whether it's a dress whether it's a jeans look whether it's a dress look whatever it is whether it's a minimalist look I don't care but they have this signature that they can reach for time and time again take note from that maybe you can develop a signature that is your default outfit or default outfits maybe you've got a couple that when you've just got to get out the door really quick you just don't want to think you don't feel like playing in your wardrobe these are the things you can just put on and they are you they look like you because they just are your signature now because you wear them more than once develop that what are your signature outfits I think that's a really good one for me it's probably wearing um, dresses this summer I've as you can see I'm really into wearing dresses a lot really like sort of ruffle I'm, I don't know, I'm going for like this kind of ruffly kind of um, slightly like I don't know modern feminine kind of look right now for summer so for me I feel like my signature is starting to sort of go that direction so I would really say that that is for me and also body suits I've been investing in some good body suits from a last haul video and that's another thing that I've been 
developing as my signature or my default outfit to go to. Fling a bodysuit on and just fling a midi skirt or a mini skirt. I feel like I just easily just go out the door with a pair of slides or simple thong or gladiator sandals. It's a signature now of something I like to wear. Make sure you've developed yours. The two and three color rule. I've mentioned this a couple of times in other videos throughout, I don't know, the past six months, maybe more than that. And I just wanted to sort of explain to you a little bit more on that. Have your own two or three color rule. This is something, again, I use the word rule loosely because at the end of the day, you wear whatever the you want to, I think. But I've developed this two color rule, at the most three color, where I will wear head to toe, my entire outfit, accessories included, is three colors at the most. I'll insert some pictures so you can see on the screen of what I'm talking about. It could be all black and I'll wear like wicker with it. It could be this, and you know what I'm gonna wear with it later? I'll just wear like a pair of um, neutral type of straw sandals and one of these straw bags. That's just two colors I'm wearing, the white with that color, right? So that's what I call my two color rule. And it's just been something that I've just, I don't know, I sort of stumbled into doing it through wanting to uh, simplify visually what I look like and what I wear. Because I take a lot of photos of outfits I wear for a living, two or three colors alone for an outfit head to toe, it just really has an impact. It's simple, but it's easy to interpret, right? Really quickly. And it's something that just looks really easy to do. And it is easy to do. And it's effortless because you're not putting too many colors on. It's the opposite of um, mixed prints, which I love to do. I love mixed prints. But right now I'm not into mixed prints. I'm into the two or three color rule like at the moment. So it's just those little, little things. You just wear um, one color head to toe, all white or an all black, but you can do that. So you've got the one color, two color, three color rule, as I call it. Yeah, so that is really it. I just wanted to put together some really simple ideas, some really simple, I call them fashion commandments, but they're not. They're just things that I've been doing for myself and I wanted to share them with you. I don't know your style, you know your style. Or at least hopefully watching my channel, you've started to develop what your style is. Don't feel like you have to sort of pigeon yourself into being, I'm that kind of person, I'm that kind of person. You're not, we're all free spirits. We all have our own identity and remember that. Honor that and keep that, that's what's important. So I'm gonna link below to some videos that I've done in the past, my Hall of Fame videos maybe, on what will help you to define what your style is and once you have that is it the world is literally your oyster as far as fashion and style is concerned i was like i just i think the point of this video was just to share like i said with you some things that i have been following and it's just things that i do follow for myself um, another thing i wanted to say to you is that right now um, i am upstate in woodstock actually cochecton we go there every single summer. We love it, Michael and I, up there. It's such a good time. It, Michael is actually FedExing, FedExing, yes, I did say FedExing, crawfish live, because like lobster, you have to cook it live, live to upstate from Louisiana, picking it up the same day. I think this video is gonna go up on Friday. If it does go up on Friday, that is a day that the crawfish ball is going down, literally. So follow my story as you can see. So I would love for you to tell me what the things are that you sort of use as your guidelines, right? For when you're getting dressed or even when you're shopping. Tell me what your rough guidelines are. I didn't put too many in this video because I don't think it needed it. But let me know what yours are. Is there a guideline that you tend to follow on the things that apply to you that you use as your own advice? Yeah, that's basically it. Your own advice. I just thought of another one as soon as I said the word advice. Paula, shout out to you. You gave me this advice years ago because I think you said that you use it and I never forgot when you told me this and I'm going to share it with everybody else. If you have to convince yourself to buy it, then don't. She told me that and I never forgot it and it's so true and I've been using that line so many times when I go into a shop. It saved me so many shopping mistakes. If you've got to convince yourself to buy it, then don't bother. All right, so that is it. That is my lot. I am going to go now. I hope you lot are having a fantastic summer. Also, if you have any ideas for my Instagram TV, let me know in the comments below 
what you think I should put up there because I already have the YouTube channel, right? And I already do Instagram stories. And I do Instagram live videos as well. Now we've got Instagram TV, which is basically, it's like an extended version of Instagram stories, but it stayed and it stays on for much longer and it's permanent. So the top of my Instagram feed, you will see a logo for like a TV. That is where my Instagram TV videos go. What would you like to see in that because I don't want to just regurgitate what is on my YouTube channel because that's special for between you and me. What do you think I should put on my Instagram TV? Let me know your thoughts. If, if I get a really good one actually, a really good idea, I'm going to pin it to the top of the comments thread of this video below so everyone else can see what you guys said. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. A lot of you watch my videos and don't subscribe so I'd love if you did and officially join this madness. Videos go up every Tuesday and every Friday. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to say except I'll see you on the next one. Bye. God. I can hear you back there. Okay. Bye. <laughs> With that said, oh yeah, and I hope you had an, an awful my What did I say? I feel like I've lost my thought. I've lost my thought. I lost my train of thought. Love that. Don't you just love when you lose your train of thought?